In this video, we're going to talk about creating a class using templates in the Azure Lab Services. Now, these aren't the templates that we use uh, normally inside of our labs for, for Azure. This is a template that I want to create one time and then use not just for one class, but use for multiple other classes. So if I'm teaching the same topic over and over, I can use the same template without having to recreate it for every single class. So let's go ahead and jump in to see what that looks like. So I'm logged into the Azure Lab Services portal as the instructor, and I can see I have a couple of classes here. And I'm gonna start off with this first one, IT160 Demo. And I've gone ahead and I've customized this template. The template is exactly the way I want it to be. So I want to manage that template, and then I want to do what's called exporting it. I wanna export it to the shared image gallery. Now here I can give it a descriptive name, And I can put most anything I want in here except for some special characters such as a slash. Um, but I can go ahead and give that a descriptive name, click export, and it says it will take up to one hour. And my experience so far is that's been about right. So once I click export, what it does is it exports it into Azure portal, into the Azure portal for use at a later date. And you can actually confirm this. If you log into portal.azure.com with your credentials and then you look through your lab accounts, uh, let's see, it's this guy right here. On the left hand side here, I, if I scroll down, I'll see marketplace images and shared image gallery. When I click on the shared image gallery, uh, the lab template that I previously exported about an hour ago is showing up. And it says, yes, it is enabled for use. So I've exported it. Now it's just time to use it. So let me get into the other environment here. In order to use that, what we do is we just say new lab. And on the right hand side here, we'll give it a name. And then we will choose the virtual machine image. And along with the Windows and Linux templates that we were seeing before, we now see our IT160 template that we just saw in the portal, Azure portal. So now I can choose this and choose the machine size exactly the same way I was doing before, uh, except now I can use my pre-exported template. At that point, I've created one template and I can use it for all of my classes moving forward. I just simply click next and start building out the class exactly as I had done before.